Welcome to November 784 Juliet Papa. I'm going to take these few minutes to give you an overview of some of the special features that 784 JP has, including the communication system, the video entertainment system, the music system, and the personal control unit. After you see this, you may conclude that this is an iPlane. So we'll start with the communications system. First we have a cordless phone. The cordless phone will allow you to call colleagues and friends anywhere in the world. Or if you dialed set star 73, you can ask a question of the captain or pilots in the cockpit. This handy cordless device is very light and accessible and as easy to use as any phone that you might expect. Secondly, we have an urgent text email capability. Your iPhone or your iPad will connect to a Wi-Fi access point that's under the chair in front of me, and that connection will allow an urgent text-only email. It's not designed for surfing the web, but comes in handy in the event of a needed and important email to be sent or received. And finally, in the communications segment, there is a unit in the cockpit that pre-stores up to 250 text messages that the pilots can execute, send from the cockpit. Things like, for example, please make sure the rental car is on the tarmac in 20 minutes, or we're running just a little bit late, we'll contact you when we get 15 minutes out, or our flight has been diverted, we'll contact you later, etc. And these stored messages can be sent directly to the dispatch center, uh, to a family or friend member's cell phone, or anything that might be desired. The second area I'd like to tell you about is the video entertainment. There are two stunning capabilities of, of this system. One is to watch a movie, and you can bring your favorite DVDs along. The DVDs are inserted in the DVD player, which is right behind me and you can have all the same controls for that movie that you would have at home. You can start, you can stop, you can look at certain features of the movie, you can do all the things that you would expect. The other video system is the moving map. The moving map system will allow you to know exactly where you are, how fast you're going, what altitude you're flying at, when you're expected to arrive at your destination. And if you don't want to just see the automatically rotating menus, like on a commercial airliner, you can press the mode button on the personal control unit, and then you can pick your own map zoom level, low, medium, or high. You can fix in on the status of the location where you're headed. You can zoom in and pan and look at the detail that is important to you. It's a highly interactive, customizable system. You can change the colors and features with a simple setup program. Frankly, I find this more interesting than most movies. And it's, a lot of people enjoy the interactivity to follow along as their flight progresses. The third area I'd like to discuss with you is music. This is my favorite. I like to have music wherever I am. And the iPlane, this phenome, 784 Juliet Papa, beats them all. There is no other phenome that has the musical capabilities of this one. Sources of music can include three areas. First, you can plug your iPhone or iPod or Android or a music player of any kind right into the personal control unit jack. And that becomes one source of music. A second source of music is behind me is the music stick. The music stick has a jack behind this seat and you can create music sticks at your leisure uh, and customize them to the music that you like. Each passenger may have a USB music stick that they prefer. You can have an unlimited number of albums and tracks on your music stick, carry it with you in your pocket or keep it here in the airplane and have uh, exactly the music that you like. It's very simple to set up. You can drag your music from iTunes on your PC or Mac directly onto the USB stick and then plug it into this special jack here in the Phenom. 
And lastly, for music, you can listen to music either through the two high-quality speakers in the ceiling, which are supplemented by a subwoofer under this seat, giving you fantastic quality, high-fidelity music, or you may want to enjoy with the wireless headset. The wireless headset has a switch that allows you to select the source of music that you may uh, want to listen to, whether it be a movie or the iPhone music or the USB stick music, or you may choose to listen to XM music, uh, satellite music. So with this remote control, you can listen to CNN or Fox News or CNBC, plus hundreds of channels of music of your favorite kind, just like you could in your car or at home. The wireless headsets, as the name implies, are wireless, no cords to get confused or to get lost, and there are four of them aboard, one for each passenger. Uh, finally, I'd like to comment about the personal control unit. You see the personal control unit, there's one on each side of the aircraft, and when I switch back to the home page, you can change the lighting, you can adjust the floor lighting, the ceiling lighting, you can make your musical selections, you can choose your source of music, you can select the, for the music stick, you can look at the uh, tracks and channels of music that are available. You can select movies and fast forward, replay, make all the normal adjustments to the music, uh, to the movie rather. Uh, and finally is the moving map. And you can pan up, down, left or right. You can zoom in or out and you can change the mode in which the moving map is operating. Uh, finally, I should point out that you have power available in the aircraft on both sides so that you can power up your laptop or your iPhone or your camera or anything that needs electrical power. Uh, it's at your service right at the seat. So that's a quick overview of the features in four areas. Communications, video, entertainment, music, and the personal control unit on November 784 Juliet Papa, the iPlane in your future.